Hello, CEO here. And today I'll be going over how to get maple leaves. Maple leaves are essential crafting materials you'll need in order to craft special fall DIYs. I'll be going over how to catch maple leaves, when you're able to catch them in Animal Crossing, and how to obtain the DIYs needed for maple leaves. And if you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button to get notified when I post videos next. I'll be posting a lot of Animal Crossing videos all about how to get certain crafting materials, the dates, all the information you'll need to have a great time in Animal Crossing. Also, please like the video if this will help you, and let's get started. When the maple leaf season starts, Isabel will introduce the day with this clip and she'll be talking about the maple leaves. So when you see this message from Isabel, you'll know that the maple leaves will be falling in your town and that you're ready to catch them and look for the balloons to get the maple leaf DIYs. She'll also give you a red leaf pile which uses maple leaves in order to craft it. So the first thing you're going to need is a net. The maple leaves will be flying through the air as you can see right now. Um, so you're going to need to have a net. Now as you can see, some maple leaves are falling from the sky, but not all of these are catchable. The catchable maple leaves will be larger in size and won't be floating through the wind quite as fast. So let's walk around and see if we can find a catchable maple leaf. So we found two maple leaves actually. Maple leaves acts very similar to how cherry blossoms act from April. If you run through them, they will disappear. If you attempt to catch them too many times but fail, they will also disappear. So you want to make sure you are, you know, about like one space away from them and that you are walking slowly around them in order to not have them disappear from existence. So you kind of just want to get up to it and just go for it. Whoa, there we go. Caught. And then I can use this in DIYs. And so let's see if we can find that other maple leaf that was here. So here's the other maple leaf, not too far away. And I'll demonstrate. So you can see if I run through it, poof, it disappears. It does rotate a few times, but then it disappears. The same thing happens if you attempt to catch it too many times and fail. And so I'll demonstrate that next. So here are two more maple leaves. I'll demonstrate what happens if you try to catch them without success. But if you have experience with the cherry blossoms in April, they, they basically work the same way. Let's try to make it disappear. Okay, there we go. The maple leaf um, vanished, and that's because I tried to swing at it with my net and did not catch it. You only get about two attempts to catch it with your net before it disappears, so you want to be accurate without being too fast. Just like that. You can run up to them, but make sure you stop running right before you get up to it. Whoops, and there we go, it disappeared. Again, there we go. Perfect. So now I'll go over the dates for when these maple leaves will be falling in your town. For Northern Hemisphere, these leaves will only be falling between November 16th and November 26th. So you'll have to make sure to keep a lookout for those dates in order to catch the maple leaves. And in the Southern Hemisphere, these leaves will be falling from May 16th to May 26th. So you've caught a bunch of maple leaves, and now they're just taking up space in your storage. What to do with them? Well, you could use them as decorations, but you can also craft special fall time DIYs with them. And the only way to get these fall DIYs is from balloons. So I recommend you carry a slingshot around with you during the fall season in case you see a balloon. And whenever you see a balloon, just sh shoot it from the sky and there's a chance it will have a fall DIY recipe in it. Now it might not have a DIY recipe in it, you could also get bells, iron, stone, furniture, clothing. So you want to make sure you have your slingshot on you at all times, so when you do spot a balloon, you're able to shoot it down and increase your probability of getting a DIY. 
As I mentioned before, maple leaves only are falling on your island between November 16th and November 26th. So the same goes for the DIYs. You'll only be able to obtain these maple leaf fall DIYs from balloons between November 16th and November 26th. So it's crucial that you shoot down as many balloons as possible in order to increase your chances to, to get as many of the seasonal DIYs as you can. The DIYs won't be available outside this 10 day time frame. So if you do, so if you're unable to collect all of them, you'll either have to wait till next year or time travel back to November 16th in order to try to get the DIYs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope by watching this video, you'll become more successful in catching the maple leaves in order to create those cute maple leaf themed DIYs that are available in the fall time. Please give this video a like if this video helped you and please subscribe to get notified when I post more Animal Crossing tutorial videos. Thank you for watching. Bye. I also wanted to mention that I do have a Twitch channel and I recently flattened my entire New Horizons island. So if you want to see me redo my entire island, I'm redoing the terraforming and the layout, go over there and hit that follow button to be notified the next time I stream. My Twitch name is C-E-O-M-G, same as my YouTube name. I've also included a link to my Twitch channel in the description box down below. I look forward to seeing you in a stream.